Hello everyone, it is Heidi and welcome back to another episode of Baby Name Sunday. This week's baby name list is going to be inspired by some edgy baby names for boys. So these names are gonna be like the cool boys on the block. We have some amazingly cool names for you. They're rare, but they're super cool that you guys need to add to your baby boy names list. So if you guys are having a boy in the next few years here, these are some rare name options that are definitely unique. So let's get into it. Starting off the list here, we have the cool name Sayer. Spell S-A-Y-E-R, Sayer. Now this one's kind of like an occupational name. It means woodcutter. It's also actually a surname, but another great option that's very similar to Sayer is the name Sager. So S-A-G-E-R, Sager. Now with Sage on the rise for both boys and for girls, adding an R in the end, making it Sager. I think it's super edgy and so unique. And this one means wiser. Next, we have Noam, spelled N-O-A-M, Noam. This would make a phenomenal other alternative to Noah. I feel like Noam adds this coolness to it. And it's also a Hebrew rooted name, meaning pleasantness, charm, and tenderness. I have Rensley, spelled R-E-N-Z-L-E-Y, Rensley. I love the Z in there. Personally, that's kind of like my choice, but you could totally do an S instead. Rensley still totally works, and this one means meadow of water lilies. Another name here, but that starts with Z, is Zenlo, spelled Z-E-N-L-O. Zenlo. I told you guys this is gonna be a rare names list. I absolutely love this. You can do nicknames like Zen or even Low for your little boy. And this one means crowned with tranquility and peace. Levin, spell L-E-V-E-N, Levin. This one's a Scottish rooted name, meaning place of the flood. Personally, I totally think that this is very similar to the number name 11, but Levin adds a little bit of a different kind of twang to it. it. Has this kind of coolness to it, but it still sounds a little bit more familiar than going super bold with a number, 11. For the next one here, so this one kind of has two pronunciations depending on where you are in the world. So we have the name Eker or Iker, spelled I-K-E-R. This one's a Basque rooted name meaning visitation. So in the Basque region, you would definitely pronounce it as Eker more so, but you can definitely use the pronunciation Iker as well. Okay, time for a super cool, like super cool surname here. We have the name Teller, spelled T-E-L-L-E-R. Teller. I am in love with this. I think this is so handsome, very kind of like posh in a way. I don't know. I love it. It's an occupational name, but it's definitely a really cool and unheard of surname. Next is Evro, spelled E-V-R-O, Evro. This one's so handsome, it means either always red, which I've seen it here and there over on Instagram popping up, but it also could mean forever. Now, if you guys are loving this rare boy name list, please, you guys, give this video a thumbs up. It really tells me that you guys love rare boy names, so make sure you guys are doing that. Make sure you guys are subscribing down below as well, and then make sure you guys leave a comment with some other really cool rare boy names or just your favorite name from today's list. Moving on, super futuristic, we have Skyrin. Spell S-K-Y-R-E-N, Skyrin. This is something else. I absolutely love it. I think it's super kind of like, almost like celestial in a way, but it means little bird of the skies. Then for a short one here is Tave, spelled T-A-V-E, Tave. Now this is a great one syllable name option, could totally work for a middle name as well. And this one means eighth, or if you're having a little boy or twin boys, this name also means twin. Now I have the name Ameris, spelled A-M-A-R-E-S, Ameris. This is incredibly handsome, kind of romantic too, but it's a Hebrew variant, meaning promised by God. Then I have Riken, spelled R-Y-K-E-N, Riken. Now names like Ryder or Riker, those two have kind of been, you know, gaining some momentum on the name charts. But what do you guys think about Riken? It adds a kind of a little bit of 
I don't know, some different kind of vibes to the name. I think it's super, super cool and opens itself up to some really cool nicknames as well. But Riken's an English rooted name, meaning he who is widely famous. Q name here, we have Quill, spelled Q-U-I-L-L, -L, Quill. A great kind of modern and different kind of honorary name for even like a Will or a William in the family. Great alternative to Quinn as well. And this one means either strong or it means feather. Kanan, spelled K-A-Y-N-A-N, Kanan. I love the spelling for this one. I know you could definitely do like a C instead or there's quite a few different spelling variations for that one but this one means either Sky Viking or Possession. Another wonderful one, maybe a little bit softer, but it still has that edge, is the name Henlo, spelled H-E-N-L-O-W. Henlo. This one I've kind of been saving and trying to figure out what list to put it on, but I've been loving it so much. I love low ending names for boys. I think it's so cool, but really kind of sweet as well. And this one means woodsy hills. Then we have Tober, spelled T-O-B-E-R, Tober. Now this one's also an uncommon um, surname, but this also could be a derivative of like October. So maybe if you're having an October baby, this is a great kind of um, themed name inspired by October but it means spring or well now before I make it through the rest of the list make sure you guys are also going over to Instagram going to check me out over on there as I post a ton of name content basically daily and then also I am doing a promo for my name consultations actually at the moment I'm adding an extra 20 names to each of my name packages with no extra charge so if you guys are on the hunt with names or you're pregnant and and you're needing some help, I do offer those name consultations. So you can um, DM me or you can email me with the email right here. Next up, we have the name Rook. Spell R-O-O-K, Rook. This is definitely kind of like a Western-y feeling name. It's also a rare nature name and it means crow or chariot. I also have the name Trig, so T-R-I-G-G, -G, Trig. This one can also be kind of that cowboy-esque style name, but it's a virtue name, meaning trustworthy or faithful. Next up, we have Vester, so V-E-S-T-E-R, Vester. Now, Vester on its own actually means from the West or West in general, but it also could be an honorary name or a diminutive of Sylvester, meaning from the woods. We have the name Kari, spelled K-H-A-R-I, Kari. This is actually a pretty gender neutral name, but very edgy for either boys or for girls. And it's a West African name, meaning kingly. Next up, very short, we have Sev, spelled S-E-V, Sev. This one's really cool with those three letter names that people have been trying to kind of hunt down for some rare ones, Sev, and it means strong soldier or completion. Another surname here is McKinnon, spelled M-A-C-K-I-N-N-O-N, -N -N, McKinnon. A lot of these names with the M-C at the beginning, Mac, um, lots of people have been really liking them. There's like McCoy, Mackenzie. Now what about McKinnon? I think this is really handsome for a little boy and it's Gaelic rooted meaning fair born. Making our way down the list here. Next up we have Silan, spelled C-Y-L-A-N, Silan with that nickname of Sai. So cool. This one's also a Gaelic rooted name similar to actually McKinnon. It means fair one. Then I have Braver, spelled B-R-A-V-E-R, Braver. Now Brave or Braven has been popping up and I've heard of those, but I added an R onto this one. And this one is a virtue name, meaning the bravest one. Five more names here left. So next up we have the name Joran, spelled J-O-R-E-N, Joran. Now this one is a really great J option for boys. It could totally work for girls as well, but Joran means earth worker or lover of horses. We also have one of my favorites on the list here, and that's a name, Aneko or Aneko, spelled E-N-E-K-O. Now this one could be also pronounced a few different ways, but this one has the sweetest meaning of my little deer, but it also is a name of a king. Third to last name, we have Rosario, spelled R-O-Z-A-R-I-O, -R -O, Rosario. This is a really cool kind of name where you can do that nickname, Rose, 
Ozar or Ozario, Rio. There is so many cool nicknames from this one. I find it kind of like handsome, romantic, but super edgy. And this one means rose. Then for kind of a biblical name here, we have Micaiah. Spelled M-A-K-A-I-A-H, Micaiah. This one could definitely be used for a girl as well, but Micaiah just sounds super cool, kind of edgy for a boy too. And I love the nicknames for this one too. You have Mac, you have Mike, you even have Kai or Kaya as well. But this one means ruler of the sea or it means who is like God. Then that brings me to my final name on today's list here. Super sweet. We have the name Avian. Spell A-V-I-E-N. Avian. And this one means one who has noble strength and is powerful. This is a really sweet option if you want that shorter nickname of like Avi or Avi for your little boy. It has that Ian ending, which always makes names super handsome. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's edgy boys name list. I hope you found some really cool rare names that you guys haven't heard of. And that is definitely the name of the game with these sort of lists. I know some of them might be a little bit bold for some, but some people truly love that and that's exactly the type of names that I absolutely love. So please write down in the comments any of the names that you loved from today's list. And if you have any other rare gems to add, please do that down below. All right, take care guys. I hope you guys are staying safe and warm and I will see you guys next Sunday with another baby names list. All right, take care, bye.